Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at touch events. And basically what this is, is if you add this to a part, anytime a player touches or bumps into this part, you can trigger other things to happen. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and dive in. All right, so to start, let's go ahead and add a part into the game. And then we'll just resize this part to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add a script onto this part. So go ahead and head over to the Explore menu, find your part, and then click on the plus sign. We're adding a script. You can go ahead and delete the print hello world message. And the first thing we're going to do, like we've done in other videos, is we're going to create a variable for this part. So we're going to say local part is equal to script dot parent. Okay, so what this line of code does, it makes an e easy reference for us. So anytime we want to change different parts of this part, we can just say something like part, dot, and then the property that we want to change. Okay, so for the touch event part of it, the way this is going to work is we're going to say part, dot, touched, with a capital T. And then it's going to be a colon with the word connect. And what's going to go inside of this connect is the name of a function that we're going to make. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make some space in between these two lines. And we need to make a function. So to do that, we're going to say local function. Okay, and then we have to give our function a name. And in this case, let's just call it invisible. Because we're going to make our part turn invisible when we touch it. And then we just need two parentheses like that. Once you press enter, you're going to see the word end at the end of your function. And then we're going to write code in between this part right here up top and the word end. Okay, our function is going to be very simple, so all our function is going to do, it's going to take the part and change its transparency equal to 1. So what we're going to write is part dot transparency is equal to 1. So the way the script works is in the very beginning we created a uh, variable that references our part. Next we created a function called invisible and what this function does, it's going to set its part.transparency equal to 1. Down at the bottom here is our touch event. So we're saying part.touched. And then we're connecting our function, which we're going to put inside the parentheses. So every time that our part is touched, we're going to run this function called invisible, which will set the part.transparency equal to 1. All right, let's go ahead and run our game and take a look. Okay, there's our part. And if we touch our part, it should, should turn invisible. And there we go. So let's go and take a look at a few other things you can do with this. So with the code we have right now, it's very easy to change this for any part. So instead of transparency, if I want to change another property, like maybe can collide, I can set this equal to false. And then whenever I touch the part, it'll turn can collide to false, and then I'll be able to walk into it. OK, so we have our part. If I run into it, then can collide turns off, and I can walk through the part. Okay, so just a few final remarks. This is the basic template for any touch event. You're going to have your variable for your part. You're going to have a function that will run some code. In this case, we just changed one of the properties. And the final part down at the end is the touch event, which you do by referencing the part, which will be the name of the variable up top here. You're going to have dot touched, colon connect, and then inside the parentheses will be the name of your function. Okay, so this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.